In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily add a trend line to a scatter plot containing two variables. I'll also show you how to add the equation of the line and the R square value onto the graph. If you find this video useful, please give it a like as it really does help support the channel. And without further ado, let's jump into Excel. I've already got my example data here in Excel. This is height and weight measures from 49 different participants. Let me firstly create a scatter plot of the two variables. To do this, we'll click and drag to highlight all of the data, including the labels at the top. Then I'll go to the insert tab at the top and select a simple scatter plot. Now we're ready to add the trend line, the equation of the line and the R squared values. Let's start by adding a trend line. There are in fact quite a few ways to do this. With the graph selected, you can go to chart design, add chart element, trend line, and then select an appropriate line from the list. For me, I will select the linear option. Alternatively, you could right click on the data points in the graph and go to add trend line. A third way you can add a trend line is with the graph selected, you can click the plus icon in the top right corner of the graph and select trend line. Now we have our trend line added, you can adjust its appearance, such as changing the color, style, and thickness of the line. If you want to do this, simply select the line and then go to the format tab at the top. Then use the shape outline option to adjust the color, line thickness, and style. Moving on, let's now add the equation of the line onto the graph. To do this, simply right click on the trend line and then select format trend line. This will open a new sidebar to the right. And if you scroll down, you'll see an option that states display equation on chart. Select this and then you should see the equation has been added onto the graph. Because this is a text box, you can simply click and drag to move it around. And while it's selected, you can also change its appearance just like you would change any other piece of text by going to the home tab. I'll make mine bold and increase the font size to 12. If you're interested in learning more about linear regression and understanding what the equation and the R squared values represent, then I suggest that you refer to my how to perform a linear regression in Excel tutorial. Finally, let's add the R squared value onto my graph. This process is similar to adding the equation of the line. Again, right click on the trend line on the graph, then select format trend line. Then simply select the option to display the R squared value on the chart and you'll see the R squared value has been added in the text box under the equation of the line. And that's it. Now you know how to add a trend line, equation of the line, and R squared to a scatter plot in Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.